April 7, 2003, a date every Syracuse University basketball fan will have burned on the brain forever. The day Syracuse basketball finally won the national championship. Sure, you remember what happened that day like it was yesterday, but do you remember everything? Like how Hakeem Warwick's block ended the game? Well, actually, it didn't. Kansas still had one more play. Kirk Heinrich missed a last-second three-point attempt to seal Syracuse's 81-78 victory. 81-78. Boy, that game was a nail-biter, huh? Well, actually, a dramatic ending seemed unlikely after Josh Pace's basket gave the Orange a 76-64 lead with just over five minutes to go. Do you remember that before Warwick became a hero, he missed two important free throws down the stretch? While it was Syracuse that stumbled a bit at the free throw line in the final minutes, it was Kansas that went 12 for 30 from the free throw line overall, making just four of 17 in the second half. You certainly remember Syracuse's Jerry McNamara hitting six three-pointers in the first half, part of a stellar effort by the Orange from beyond the arc as they were 11 of 17, Kansas just four of 20. You certainly remember that Carmelo Anthony led the way that game and throughout Syracuse's magical 2003 season, scoring 20 points in the title game. What you may not remember is he was held scoreless over the game's final 13 minutes. Nick Collison of Kansas grabbed 21 rebounds in that game. 21! Do you remember what was happening in the world April 7, 2003? Into Club by 50 Cent was the number one song in the country. Bringing Down the House, starring Steve Martin and Queen Latifah, was the number one movie. It cost $1.83 per gallon to fill your gas tank. U.S. troops had captured Baghdad that night, with Saddam Hussein's regime to fall just two days later. Surely you remember that goofy orange hat Jim Beheim wore after the orange took down Kansas, which sadly he did not wear on Letterman just a few days later. As time fades, we won't remember all the details about that night, but no Syracuse fan will forget how they felt on April 7th, 2003.